Laura, welcome to the welcome to the Guardian. Thank you. Welcome to the studio. <laughs> Um, yeah, thanks for coming and uh, offering to teach me a bit of fiddle from your album. Absolutely. The album's called Midnight Sun. Yes. And you've been working on it how long? We spent about four weeks in the studio, I think. Uh, we started halfway through December and ended halfway through January. What was the feel for this album? You're, you're, you're from a bluegrass background. Yeah, well, far far back it was it was bluegrass and it's sort of been on a steady journey uh, away from there, I guess, or alongside previous things that I'd done. We had a really great idea how, what they were going to sound like once we went in the studio and we were arranged. We had knew the, the all the instruments that would be on the songs. It's pretty pretty good idea of what it would sound like. And this one was kind of, a, it was a discovery along the way. Are we going to have a crack at um, uh, a song called When It Pleases You? Yes. This is a song written by Dan Wilson, who co-wrote the uh, the big Adele hit, the, the ballad, the Never Mind I'll Find Someone Like You song. It starts off with a little fiddle intro, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yes it does. Yep, and that just tails off. That's totally right, yeah. Um, and then other instruments kind of echo it on the record. Yeah. So a lot of times I'll, I'll play that those other instruments parts. Um. I know you come from classical world, right? yeah, and you've got great tone and intonation and stuff. In in more of a in a less classical world, the vibrato is sometimes a little slower. Okay, yeah, and and so you might hold it straighter and then just rock back and forth a little slower. Um, three, four, one. And then you probably don't even hear vibrato on on anything but the long notes, you know. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'll give that a go. It's hard to slow down, huh? It's like trying to walk slowly. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> something you never do. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> you, you get a little metronome and, and it'll be like tick tock tick. And you have to try really annoying things like that to, to, to deliberately slow it deliberately down. Deliberately slow it down. Yeah. And I notice you put a nice little, um, very common in bluegrass, this little sort of glissando on the, uh, a little slide mm-hmm. on the first note. Yeah. A bit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Great. That's great. You want to play it? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Fiddle doesn't really come in until the end yeah. for that long outro. So much of fiddling is is improv, right? Essentially, isn't it? I mm-hmm. mean, I'm sure you you worked out the outro and uh, then kept it that way. You know, I I, uh, I didn't plan it. it. It's one of the less arranged parts. I just sort of played it, and and I I almost kind of wanted to redo it, but um, but we felt like and Blake felt like it was sort of just like the moment was captured, and we should just stick with it. And I really like it now. I feel like it has more personality than it would have had I. Had I really, you know, figured something out that I was, you know, that I was particularly fond of or, or um, there's some more of reactionary violin playing, <laughs> fiddling at the end. Did you learn what was, was I did, on the I record? I have or? to admit, I did not learn what was Perfect. on the record. So, I, so it was more, it will be more freestyling. Yeah. yeah. How's that? <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I did. So it's perfect. So yeah, uh, let's see, I wonder if I'll mess up the chords. Uh, I usually do that. I do it differently when I'm, when I'm playing by myself than this on the record. Um. It repeats the, um, when it pleases you. When it pleases you. And it kind of, oh, right, right, it just kind of keeps going like that.
it's okay to put some of those sort of bluegrassy, crunchy, little dissonant things dissonant in there. Bits yeah. in there. One thing that I like to do on, on these kind of songs that have a little bit more of, um, not an anger, but there's a little bit more of, a, of an angst to them, um, is sometimes it's fun to, to find a note that, that works over one chord. It might sound really dissonant over the other chords, but just to commit to them, you know? Um, as the chords go by our, this G sharp, You can hit it with that A. You just kind of test them. Just stay on them a little bit longer than you think you should. <laughs> yeah. And just kind of see. Sometimes it's just an experiment. Yeah. You don't know exactly. The worst Sometimes, that could happen is it sounds terrible. <laughs> exactly. And then you just change notes. Just move your handle around a little bit. Um, yeah. People say, you know, you're only half step away from something that will work. One thing I noticed about bluegrass is if you're playing a, a tune that's really fast, like... Um, <laughs> Something like that. Um, a lot of times, like mandolins and guitars, will have to play those uh, eighth notes and sixteenth notes just the whole time through. But you have a bow, so you can hold on to notes a little bit longer. And if you don't know what you want to play, just hang out for a second and then jump back in. You know. Yeah, it's an easy option. An easier yeah. option. Yeah, or just think things that um, sometimes you get stuck in a little train of thought, and it's nice just to be like, wait a second, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna breathe here for a second and <laughs> and reconsider. Cool. Well, should we? Should we have a go at doing a take? Yeah. And singing it, playing all the way it through? all the way through? Great. Yep. We'll give it a go. One, two, three. When it pleases you You want me When it's easy to do You hold me When you don't want anybody else to You love me When it pleases you I've been giving it convenient for you to keep close to me. I've been making it too easy for you to hang on loosely. I've been holding on and dreaming on, but you only come around to me when it pleases you. to hear my voice whisper in your voicemail's ear I think of you at the strangest times you've got me on the back of your Keeping it convenient for you to keep close to me. I've been making. 
That's great. Good job. <laughs> he killed it. Nice to play with the fiddle player. <laughs>